One day, a young boy came home from school and handed to his mother a letter from his teachers. The letter read, Your boy is mentally ill. We won't let him come to school anymore. His mother became sorrowful as she wept bitterly. However, some decades after that day, that same boy became the greatest inventor the world had ever seen. That little boy was Thomas Alva Edison. His school teachers thought he was mentally ill. They thought he was a moron. They thought he was never going to become anything, so they rejected him. They stigmatized him. They made his mother cry. But they were wrong. That boy was not mentally ill. He was just far more brilliant than his teachers. Now listen. I don't know what anyone has said about you. I don't know, maybe your teachers have told you that you will amount to nothing in life. I don't know, maybe your friends have told you that you are mentally ill. I don't know, maybe your parents have told you that you are good for nothing. I tell you, they are all wrong. They are all wrong because they don't know the power inside of you. Here's my personal story. When I was a little boy, my age mates called me ugly. In high school, one of my teachers cursed me. When I wanted to go to college, my family members said that I was not brilliant enough for a good school. When I started my business, everyone told me that I could never succeed because I was born by poor parents. Today, I'm not ugly. Today, I've turned the curse of my teacher to a blessing. Today, I have a successful company that makes me richer than everyone who said I cannot succeed as an entrepreneur. Again, I don't know what anyone might have told you, but I tell you, they are all wrong. They are wrong because who they see is not who you are. They are wrong because they don't know the power inside you. They are wrong because they don't know that you're not just a physical being, you are a spirit. You're invisible and you are a god. You can climb the highest mountains, you can subdue the biggest threats, you can overcome the toughest obstacle, you can recover from your past, you can regain the future, you can prove the haters wrong. Habib Akande said, and I quote, insecure people put others down to raise themselves up. Listen to me, people who try to pull you down have been on the ground 10 years ago. People who belittle you are little. People who tell you that you cannot amount to anything have never achieved anything. If you doubt this, let's do this simple exercise together. Close your eye for a moment. Now imagine having a meeting with Thomas Edison or Henry Ford, Steve Jobs or Ben Carson. Now in this meeting, they are all listening to your dreams. 10 minutes after you shared your dreams with these people, can you imagine what these people will tell you after listening to your dreams? Will Ben Carson tell you that your dream is too big? Will Benjamin Franklin criticize you for thinking too big? Will Winston Churchill could caution you for trying to be the greatest human? Will Barack Obama tell you that you're black and shouldn't try? Will Oprah Winfrey tell you that you are a woman so you shouldn't dream big in the world of men? Now you see where I'm going. Truly successful people cannot make you feel little. Only little people make others feel little. They told Thomas Edison that he was mentally ill simply because he was far more brilliant than any one of them. The reason why they told you that you can't amount to anything is because they themselves are nothing. Who would you believe? Would you let them think they are right? If I were you, I'll fight with my last blood to prove my haters wrong. Did you like this video? Then subscribe to our channel for daily inspiration and share this video with your friends who may like it. Look at your screen now to see other interesting videos we handpicked for you. We love you.